ever wanted to build your own robotic arm? One that you control with just a flick of your thumb? Well, today we are going to build an awesome robotic arm using Arduino, servos and a joystick. Let's dive into the project. For this project, we'll be using the following components. Arduino UNO Two servo motors A joystick module One breadboard Two ice cream sticks for the arm structure a double battery holder with a DC power jack and switch. Two lithium-ion batteries. Jumper wires for connections. Let's start the connections. First, let's connect the joystick to the Arduino using the breadboard. The joystick has five pins, GND, plus 5V, VRX for the X-axis, VRY for the Y-axis, and SW for the button which we won't be using in this project. Take four male to female jumper wires and insert them in the joystick. Connect the joystick's GND pin to the breadboard's negative ray. Now, connect the joystick's VCC pin to the breadboard's positive ray. This will supply power to the joystick. Connect VRX means horizontal to a zero on the Arduino. Connect VRY means vertical to a 1 on the Arduino. Now, let's connect the two servo motors. Each servo has three wires, signal, power and ground. The signal wire will go to the Arduino's PWM pins, while the power and ground wires will connect to the breadboard's power rails. Now take male to male jumper wires and insert them in servo motors. Connect the signal wire of servo 1, usually yellow, to pin 3 on the Arduino. Connect the power wire of the servo that is red to the breadboard's positive rail. Connect the ground wire that is brown wire to the negative rail of the breadboard. Take servo 2. Connect the signal wire of servo 2 to pin 5 on the Arduino. Connect the power wire to the positive rail. Connect the ground wire to the negative rail. Now, we'll need to provide power to our circuit. Connect the 5V pin from the Arduino to the positive rail of the breadboard. Connect the GND pin from the Arduino to the negative rail of the breadboard. That's it. Verify the connection according to this circuit diagram. It's time to write some code. Download the code files using the link given in the description below. Simply click the link to download the necessary files directly. Now open the code file if you've already downloaded the Arduino IDE, otherwise download the Arduino IDE first. We need to include the servo library. This library makes it easy to control the servos without manually writing complex PWM code. Next. We define our two servo objects, which represent the two motors that control the robotic arm's movements. Here, servo 1 and servo 2 will control the movements of the arm. We also define the analog pins that will read input from the joystick. The x-axis of the joystick is connected to a 0 and the y-axis is connected to a 1 on the Arduino. These variables will help us read the position of the joystick and translate that into movements for the servo. Here, we define variables to store the current position of the servo. By default, the servos will start at 90 degrees, which is the middle position. This ensures that when we power up, the robotic arm starts in a neutral, centered position. In the setup function, we attach our servo to the PWM pins on the Arduino. Servo 1 is attached to pin 3 and servo 2 is attached to pin 5. This tells the Arduino which pins are controlling each servo. We also initialize both servo to the middle position, so they start at 90 degrees. Now let's move on to the loop function, where the magic happens. The first thing we do is read the values from the joystick. The joystick gives us a value between 0 
and 1023 on each axis. Since servo motors only rotate between 0 and 180 degrees, we need to map the joystick values, which range from 0 to 1023, to the corresponding servo angle. Using the map function, we convert the joystick's raw values into a range that makes sense for our servos. Now that we've mapped the joystick values, it's time to control the servo. We want the servo to move smoothly, so we use a for loop to gradually move them to the new position. The for loop ensures that the servo moves in small increments, making it appear smoother and more precise. We can even adjust the delay value to control the speed of movement. After moving the servo, we update the current pause 1 and current pause to variables to remember the servo's new positions. This is crucial for the next joystick movement. That's it. Now upload the code by following some instructions. Connect the Arduino UNO to your computer using a USB cable. Then, go here and select the port. In the same menu and select board that is Arduino UNO. Now upload the code by clicking the upload button. You can see the sketch is first verified by the compiler and then uploaded to the Arduino. Now build the robotic arm using two ice cream sticks. Attach the servo to the joints of the sticks to simulate the arm's movement. We'll use one servo for the base rotation and the other for the arm's lift. Now plug the DC power jack of the battery holder into the Arduino's barrel jack to power the Arduino directly from the batteries. Switch it on. Let's see our robotic arm in action. As I move the joystick left, right, up and down, the servo responds smoothly, making it easy to control the direction and the arm moves. And that's how our joystick-controlled robotic arm works. A simple but powerful setup for precise movements. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Thanks for watching.